Merci infiniment, Maître Bébé Jean et Félix, pour tous euh, ces euh, conseils. Je pense que vous avez suivi euh, ce que euh, vous euh, devrez faire en cas, euh, au cas où vous êtes victime d'une arrestation sans un mandat d'amener. Alors, on parle de toutes autre chose à présent. Sandrine Buffalo, euh, concernant beaucoup plus les femmes, voilà, euh, même si les hommes ne sont pas épargnés. Mais j'ai dit beaucoup plus. Et certains hommes comme moi. Et certains hommes, oui. Même comme il y en a certains, nous avons aussi beaucoup qui voudraient se faire make up. Around. Sans passer à la télé Sans passer à la télé. Quand ah bon Oui, bien sûr. Un nom Oui, oui, oui. Pas forcément mettre sur le fond de teint et tout ça. Il peut juste utiliser un petit noir pour noir si les yeux. Tu sais, ça, ça renforce ça, le regard d'un homme. Oui, ça renforce le regard. Oui, oui. Et lorsqu'il vous regarde, ça a un on impact. Met, ça a on ne met pas également trop beaucoup. Tu peux avoir. C'est une astuce. Hein. Il y a beaucoup qui le font quand il part rencontrer une petite, par exemple. <rire> ouais, par exemple. On fait un peu là en bas, un peu. Ça, ça, ça rend les yeux un peu plus, plus doux, plus euh, bold et nice. Par le professionnel du make-up. <rire> yeah! <laughs> you know, elle rit seulement pendant que je parle. <laughs> But I, I learned from her, even though a few I learned on YouTube. But most of the makeup I know today, how mm -hmm. to mix colors, how to draw the eyebrows. But I didn't draw today, she did. Each time she's around, I don't, je ne me casse pas. Okay, I just give my face, I'm like, I need a treat. <laughs> And she did this beautiful makeup today, just like yesterday. And she's here on set today, guys. So, Tell us more about makeup, but we are looking, we are taking a look at two types of makeup. You know, we have a whole list of different kinds of makeup, okay, nude, classic, and all the like. But for today, she's taking a look at the kind of makeup you need to do on TV, that's TV makeup, and also makeup for the cinemas, that's cinematography makeup, all the actors and actresses, the kind of makeup that they need to put on too. Well, who better, who else can talk about that than maybe on Chile, who is not only a makeup artist, but a media personality and also an actress yes mm. if you didn't know this girl beside me here <laughs> is an actress she's my nene sherry good morning darling and welcome good morning sanja uh, welcome it, back thank you very much it seems i ate some beautiful food today you understand yeah, okay <laughs> Euh, bon <rire> Bonjour mes belles Chini, avec vous on parle ce matin de make-up, euh, make mm. euh, on va dire de télé, yes. le make-up de cinéma. De cinéma. Yes. La télé c'est vrai, le, dans le, la, la télé c'est à l'intérieur que le cinéma se déroule, mm -hmm. mais il y a euh, une catégorisation, il y a une différence entre le make-up pour des présentateurs de télé comme mm. vous et moi, et une différence de make-up pour ceux qui sont des acteurs. D'accord. Vous nous en parlez ce matin. Oui, yeah, mm. uh, So, good morning televiewers. Uh, I'm back again as usual. So today uh, I'm not coming here to demonstrate anything but just to give some little touch, mm -hmm. theoretical part of makeup concerning uh, TV presenters and actors on set. So uh, today I want to tell you guys that uh, TV makeup or uh, making up a presenter is different from somebody who is just going out on the street because here you have to uh, do with a lot of more profound and plenty of, of uh, uh, code or layers of foundation on that person's face. Mm -hmm. Because if you can see uh, Sandrine today, I bet you if you see her downstairs outside, you will begin to ask that this, yeah. you know, this, why is she so made up? Mm -hmm. That is because her face is made for the program that you're seeing her presenting. Mm -hmm. And again, there is some particular foundation that is purposely used for the uh, uh, makeup while you're in the studio because the lighting system, as you can see, is too mm -hmm. bright. So you need to use a particular foundation. Liquid foundation is not the best. Yeah, you will use cream foundation, cream foundation. What we mostly have, have in the, the cup. cup. Yeah. I'm sorry that I didn't bring anyone, but I, I promise you guys that I will bring more to show you what I'm talking about. So, and then we should also understand that everybody have dark circles, or maybe we have, uh, we might not sleep well, well last mm -hmm. night. So when you are doing that makeup, you always take into consideration this, you know, the dark circle needs to be more, more, Uh, 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 yeah, it needs to be overworked, oh, actually. Definitely. Overworked as well as men as, uh, uh, as a Buddha, Etienne, he also needs makeup. It is compulsory. It is mm -hmm. not that we we ask him if he wants makeup, but it is compulsory It's for anybody for who is coming under the lighting system in the studio to wear makeup, heavy makeup. You can clean your face later on. 
So uh, my makeup artists and aspire uh, makeup artists, those are the kind of things you should take into consideration. You can use a liquid foundation for somebody who is going out for dating and stuff. But when it comes to the studio, for somebody who is going to shoot under lightness, uh, uh, light in the studio, make sure that you need to use cream foundation and not liquid foundation because liquid foundation is very very light and it's not going that is why sometimes you see people with so oily face mm -hmm. and they so it is not that their face are oily but that is because you didn't use the exact, the exact uh, uh, foundation, foundation that you needed to be used. I, I really want to know what, what's the best lightening system when you're doing makeup? Is it when you're inside the house or when you make use of natural light outside? Uh, well, uh, you cannot use natural light in the night. So the kind of light you need to use if you find yourself in the night doing your makeup which you want to go out use white light I okay mean, white and not red mm -hmm. those tiny bulbs that mm -hmm. appear there because I know. at the end of the day you think that you are it is not enough you keep on adding and Add. adding mm -hmm. but before you before you know it <laughs> you're going you're doing something else so make sure that you use the white bulb the ones that we have in the parlors mm -hmm. and that is good Etienne, do you have any questions to ask non ça va il faut dire que you, you understood everything i said j'ai compris mais seulement j'étais étonné euh, de savoir que les hommes yeah. qui euh, ne passent pas à la télé entre guillemets auraient besoin de make-up ça je savais pas yeah, parce qu'avant là c'est personnel avant de, 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 de faire de la télé je confesse que j'ai jamais fait de make-up okay. avant de faire la télé donc en dehors de la télé je confesse également que jamais tu fait de make-up c'est dit dans ma vie de tout le jour au quotidien hors de la télé Jamais de make-up, je ne savais pas que les hommes euh, pouvaient aussi euh, en faire pour yeah. euh, le yeah, quotidien. J'ai vu les gens men, qui en font. Men do wear make-up because uh, there are some people that have some uh, colorful face. They have like two different colors face. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have a scar. That is where make-up comes in. Mm -hmm. Because some people will feel like they, they, they're finding them. They don't like, uh, uh, there's a word I want to use, the complex. Mm -hmm. Like when you look at him, it's like you're actually identifying him with a scar. So people then now to apply uh, makeup or foundation to cover that space. Yeah, so just like like they are exactly makeup for yeah, that. They, yeah, they, we have waterproof. Yes, that's what we're talking about. On va en parler. Pourquoi ne pas le sujet de la semaine prochaine ou alors au cours de cette semaine? Moi, moi, j'aimerais beaucoup. I would love that next time we come back to the difference between TV and cinema makeup. Mm. We, pictures to elaborate more you know Definitely. when they talk about tv they should actually see a picture of what tv makeup looks like and also a picture of what cinematography makeup looks like but due to a few technical problems yes. so we couldn't get the images and uh, we're deeply sorry for that but we promise next time we should talk again on the same subject but to be more precise and more elaborate well It's, uh, we have like two more minutes to go again. In fact, it's the end. En tout cas, on est déjà presque arrivé à la fin, on va le dire, de ce programme. On vous remercie, mes belles chines. Wow. Merci d'être venus. Merci également à tous ceux qui nous ont regardé ce matin, qui ont commencé leur matinée en notre compagnie. Cela nous fait énormément plaisir. On se retrouve demain lorsqu'il sera à 7h. Vous serez là. Nous serons là, Inch'Allah. Mais avant de se quitter, on va vous laisser avoir un goût de skin de monsieur. Je n'ai pas conclu. Laisse, laisse mes belles conclure à ma le place. Goût, euh... Le Ben Sikin. Le Ben Sikin. Mais mes conclure alors l'émission. Give me come to me belle à conclure pour moi. Tu me qu'as dit quoi ça? Say anything. anything. French English it depends on you. Uh, we have come to the end of uh, the program this morning. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching and until then tomorrow Sandrine and Etienne will be right back. Bye Let's bye. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Mbolo, Martin, it's a problem, it's
Soko Biwo, and Baba. Menabuna Buki Maholio, Jamna, Agazana, I'm your foot. Abala, never Jamu, Bolo, Sari Jampi Koyam, Madala. Let me also but was it? Monsieur Zonrala, ma fille Andy Lam, et bien du coup, Gavine Rom la top. STV, votre télé.